hello everyone so today we're going to see that how we can monitor user activities in Sophos XGS firewall so here you can see on my screen that we are on the control center and this is the basic topology that I took where the window system is connected to the WAN side via port B and port A is my LAN side okay so firstly to to, to verify user activities uh, and your traffic your application details just go to reports and when you click on reports you can able to see this is the traffic dashboard just hold on it takes some time so you can see these are the applications and you can see the record chart also based on that you increase uh, based on your uh, type of organization so I'm for example I'm taking it as a length of 50 so it can add 50 records in the chart uh, top 50 records okay it will take some time to load please hold on so here we can able to see that these all are the applications that takes uh, and its risk level also category also and you can also going to block these applications based on if this is not useful for your for your organization you can see application categories so you can see storage and backup is the highest uh, bytes that is consumed and uh, this is the test firewall by the way but still this is the way you can able to verify the applications just scroll down you can see application users but the users are unidentified just click on that and here host you can see this is the same system you can see 125 MB is consumed please hold on you can see this is our risk meter which is 2.10 still we have to made it to 1 dot something could be considered as safer please hold on so now you can able to see that these application categories and based on the categories the user have used uh, you can see software updates infrastructure general internet general business and all these hit count also is there and bytes requirement you can see the application risk that what all the risk are involved so you can see windows update that is risk 3 so still we can able to add up and you can see application risk level so the three third one is 87 MBs that can be as uh, used as client server applications so and host details also so these are the single host currently we have and we get the details you can see the destination countries source countries so if you can able to get the details of destination also you can get it so under reports tab you can able to get it also you can select the calendar timeline and you also can able to select based on your weekly report monthly report also and click on generate you can see traffic dashboard security dashboard is also there which 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 showed all the blocked applications that we blocked and uh, also the users so currently we have lesser users connected so this is somewhat little empty then application and web so when we go to application and web tab just hold on so this comes with the LAN zone and based on the application used so these all are the same category that we checked before but also you can see network protocol browser based client based all those details you can able to get it based on the application okay now we are here to monitor user activities so for that if we want to monitor the user just go to current activities you can see live user so if you are connected with user identification you can able to get details also just hold on it's rendering you can see here no users as of now we are not added any users you can see the live connections so just hold on you can see the live connections here so c you can see live connection for applications okay so it shows us the applications that is that are used by the live users in your organization so just select on plus and you can see the users so currently I am the single user who is connected 
so based on that I get the single otherwise you can get the list of users IP addresses that are connected to that particular application you can do it on the basis of username also currently we have no username as connected so this is all empty but you can see the websites you can also do it from the source IP addresses so currently you can able to see the source IP address through which we are connected so this is 10.131 which is the default gateway so it's also added over here and this is the same system through which we are checking the Sophos firewall so under live connections we can get the list of details you can see the live connections that how many websites or how many different sessions that are there till now so this is the details you get it and these are the users okay you can refresh it and automatic refresh interval to never so you can do it as five minutes and every five seconds it will be refreshed so based on the requirement let's do it on 30 seconds so automatically in every 30 seconds it will refresh it you can see IPv6 connections so you can see bit bits per second then upstream downstream bandwidth details everything we get it based on the uh, based on the application count okay we didn't have IPv6 as of now you can see IPsec connection if there's VPN connection that you can see all those live VPN users that are connected then remote users also that are connected to your uh, organization and this is how we can able to get the details okay let's go to the live users and we already covered that what are the types of live connections we can able to check the uh, user activities there's another way to track users also so just go to diagnostic tab and uh, you can see packet capture so this is the this is work like a wireshark if you already did a wireshark R&D uh, so you can see uh, you can able to understand this packet capturing also and this using the packet capture you can also see the users that are able to access or that are using which particular or, or where your traffic is going in and going out just hold on for a while so here you can see we have to enable this packet capture okay and just refresh it so you can see there is 137 KB of buffer data okay and you can see where the application is going so this is port A then it IPv4 addresses outbound is port A okay and going to port B okay so this is your destination IP this is your source IP so it's going to the default gateway first okay which is your firewall IP address okay and this is the source port destination port all the details are here and there are 12 packets that are captured and if you need the packet information also you can get the the Wireshark IP uh, details where you can see the TCP flag also there is fin flag then sequence number acknowledgement number window size check some value all these details you can also get it you can see source IP address destination IP address port protocol IP then header fragment offset all these details you can get it using this packet capture features and also you can able to trace the IP address so you can see this is what we received now display filter click on that and just select the interface as port A and let's type the for source IP address as 172.16.16.17 okay and just uh, apply so this comes with all the phases of where the interface in port A is there where the traffic enters and the source IP so you can see this is how you can able to identify there are 63 packets over there then you can see there are 85 pages okay and we can get the details some additional properties we can also add a list of things over here as web category ID application ID application category that which application the user visited then web filter ID IPS policy ID 
so based on that you get the details okay we can also going to check the user monitored activity under log viewer also just click on log viewer so here you can able to see all these traffics and uh, the traffic details you can use filter also as source IP and we can do it as 172.16.16.17 and add filter please hold on for some time so here you can able to see that all these source IPs and based on it you can able to see that how users are or which particular user is visiting which website so here you just click on this drop down menu and you can select web filter also so based on that you can see that this particular user is visiting which category and based on that you can add a block to that particular web filtering traffic currently we can see URL also you can see application filter also so this is how you can able to identify the users visiting website currently we have no application added or we have not visited any applications so we didn't get the enough of the details but this is how you can able to uh, get the user monitor activities in Sophos firewall so thanks so much guys for watching the video